You mentioned that the brain tends to prune away what it doesn't need, and you showed a graph uh, about uh, development ages and how at the age of 15 certain things start to happen. And the point that you made was this is not a good time for students to be leaving school. Now, many students do leave school at around about that age, and there's an exit point here in Australia for that age. Um, the question that I have is, does a, does a job, does moving into employment adequately replace uh, school in that context? Oh, that's an excellent question. Um, adolescence is another time, another critical period in the brain or sensitive period in the brain when a lot is changing. So, and school, the evidence that we have is school is very good for the brain. It stimulates the brain. It's a form of cognitive stimulation that pushes the brain to mature in many respects. At least that's what the evidence is right now. So if a student leaves the leave school, it isn't necessarily not good for the student if they were to get into a situation where they continue to have cognitive stimulation, where they continue to be stimulated to think and solve problems and learn new things. Um, and that used to happen. So it used to be 50 years ago, 80 years ago, that students might leave school at 15 and become an apprentice. So they might become an apprentice to be an electrician or to be a to work in house construction or something. And they're learning new things and they're developing new skills. Unfortunately now, what happens if students leave school is they tend to end up in jobs that don't require skill, the unskilled jobs. So mm. they tend to work in restaurants or they tend to uh, fast food shops or work in stores. And um, that isn't very stimulating. And as a result, at a very important time in brain development, those jobs probably don't provide the kind of cognitive stimulation that would, would cause the brain to mature more. So if a student left school and got into an interesting apprenticeship, I think it would be great. Or if they left school and went into training to be a pilot in the armed services, that would probably be fine. But it's when you leave school and get into an untrained or unskilled job and do the same thing day after day after day mm. that it probably isn't good for the development of that of the brain at that time. So we talked also about uh, the lower socioeconomic groups and perhaps leaving school is, a, is an issue of necessity mm -hmm. for the sake of earning an income. Uh, is, it, is it plausible then to suggest that a student might leave school uh, and, and pursue uh, a job, but then perhaps take a part-time approach to school? Is, is that enough stimulation? Yes, I think that actually would probably be a wonderful thing for students to do. So in Europe, oftentimes students have a year off. They quit school at 15 or 16, they take a year off, and then they go back. And when they go back, they're energized, they're ready to learn, and they know more what they want to do. So there's no reason that a student couldn't leave school and have part-time employment or have employment for a year and then part-time school and continue to have the stimulation. You don't need to be in school all day. It's just what the brain benefits from is novelty and challenge. And as long as a student, as long as an individual finds a way to find, to, to create challenges, intellectual challenges, that's very good for the brain and would be fine. <laughs>